what? Oh, going for the Broncos. Bet you anything. Bet you, yep. See, there we go. Sick. Sick. That's so tight. Oh, that's the Pitbull in Moab. Yep, cliffhanger. That's tight. <laughs> There's Jake. This is so cool. This is dope. Oh, it's the buddy. What was that? <laughs> what is even happening? <laughs> So what is up Bronco world and off-road world and all colliding worlds that are descending on this video to consume its content. We welcome you all. If you couldn't tell from the beginning of this video that some epic stuff has just dropped. Let me tell you, some epic stuff has just dropped. Gosh, where, uh, where do I even start? Let's go back to a year ago. Uh, we got hit up by Ford Motor Company. We were asked to fly out to Michigan on this top secret mission that none of you guys can know about. We signed a ton of stuff saying that we weren't going to talk. Uh, showed up there. You know, we, we met all of the other Bronco enthusiasts who got asked to show up. We didn't really know why we were there. We kind of had our own uh, different ideas and uh, just talking about it oh maybe we're gonna we're gonna see the new bronco maybe they're gonna give us a ride or whatever and uh long story short uh shorter is uh we did in fact get to see the new bronco now not to take the fire away from how freaking awesome that was but it was a pre-production it wasn't like the the mass produced thing but they brought us there because they wanted our feedback. They wanted feedback from the Bronco community, from Bronco enthusiasts, from presidents of Bronco clubs and, and different members in this community. And we got to be a part of that. So <laughs> we've been biting our tongue for this past year, trying not to spill the beans about how excited we are for what is coming. Now, I'll stop right there and tell you that one of the main reasons that we went out to Michigan was Ford asked us to help be a part of what will now be known as Bronco Nation. Now, if you follow us on Instagram, you saw the big shout out we gave, but the reason that you want to be a part of Bronco Nation is, um, oh, how did I say it? Bronco Nation is the first and only nationally recognized and certified Bronco community by Ford Motor Company. That, that right there is the deal maker. Bronco Nation is going to have exclusive and inside looks at stuff that you have never seen before. They're going to be working on tying the old community, uh, the, the old classic Broncos together with what will be a surge in this big Bronco community, this, this Bronco family. They're going to have a ton of tools and information that you guys can use on their website. I mean, it's just, uh, it's great because Ford's getting involved now in what has been existing. They're coming alongside. They're hoping to give us a hand to help us with newer tools, with newer innovative things and ideas, tying us together in an in even more, you know, tight knit and, and fun having group. So we can't wait to see where Bronco Nation goes, where, you know, Ford takes the new Bronco. We're super excited. So yeah, but, uh, about a year ago, we saw the new Bronco. And now here's really the deal is like, I'm still tripping about the fact that I got to go out to Michigan. I got to see the Bronco, I got to hang out. And I made a ton of friends at this, uh, this meeting that they had for these Bronco enthusiasts. Now here I am, a 21 year old, you know, I've been working on my Bronco for, for three to four years now. You know, it makes sense for my dad to have been asked to go. You know, he's been doing this for the past 30 years. He's kept a lot of your guys' Broncos alive and supplied a lot of parts for your guys' project. For me to get asked to go, you know, it's crazy. I was the, I was the kid in the, the Superman onesie talking about his, cleaning his engine bay, you know? Don't watch that video, please. I had no idea what I was doing. We're just gonna, 
leave it at that. But I mean, it's just it's just crazy to see you know the the doors that this channel has opened. I can't thank you guys enough because it's because of you. You know, Ford saw you know the engagement here, the interaction here. He saw you guys at the events and you know out on the trails and stuff on this channel, and that's what what drew them to us. You know, so it's because of you guys. We can't thank you guys enough for helping to open this opportunity uh, to us here at Wild Horses. So we're super stoked to be working with Bronco Nation. You guys need to give them a follow. You guys need to check out the website and stay tuned for all the stuff that they are doing because it is going to be absolutely sweet. Super stoked. This is super cool. I can't wait for you guys to see the new Bronco. Uh, we're just excited for what the future holds. So yeah, guys, that's where we're gonna stop talking about the new Bronco news. We're gonna kind of reel it into some more of the stuff that you guys are familiar with and uh, give a big shout out to our friend Gordon Bailey and his involvement with Trail Hero. Trail Hero just posted a video on their YouTube channel showing off Gordon and his wheeling capabilities. If any of you guys have wheeled with him, you know that that dude can crawl. So it's him, it's a bunch of other Bronco guys highlighted in that video. So I'll link that video down below for you guys to check out. Next up, we have some pretty cool in-house news here at Wild Horses. Uh, if you guys haven't seen already, the Pitbull has finally back on the road. This past month, I have just been driving the heck out of this thing. I already posted a video about that, so make sure you guys check it out to see and hear about the big plans that, uh, that are going on with the Pitbull. We're going places, we're just, we're moving. This thing is so much fun. We're headed straight for the Bronco Nation Facebook banner. I'm proud of you. I am proud of you. I talk to my Bronco sometimes. No, I talk to it. I talk to it quite a bit. I'll be honest. Never imagined being on somebody else's Facebook banner. I don't, I don't even use Facebook properly. <laughs> I'm gonna be one of those old guys for sure that doesn't know how to use technology. So I'm definitely headed in that direction. But we're, uh, we're gonna move on. The next topic that I would like to bring up uh, has to do with the pit bull and just driving it around this past month. And uh, that topic is just kind of, uh, I guess a problem that I have run into in these past few weeks. And it is just, uh, it's probably something very common. What do you guys do when someone says, nice Jeep? I have no idea what to say. Now, I'm gonna give you guys just kind of my spiel, my take on it, and that's just that. I don't want to be the punk or the jerk that comes across, you know, is like, oh no, it's a, it's a Bronco. It's like, we know the difference. Bronco guys definitely know the difference between a Bronco and a Jeep, you know, but the, the public usually doesn't. It's a 50 year old truck, you know, so you can't expect them to. So it's happened like four times in this, this past month, just driving it around. And uh, I just, I just don't know what to say. I just, I just let it fly, you know, but you know, if there's a way that, that you guys have figured out to handle it without coming across as a jerk, you know, leave it in the comments below. Cause I honestly, I've got no idea what to do. I just, oh, hey, thank you, man. I appreciate it. If you guys have a better way to kind of, you know, give a shout out to the Bronco name and the, you know, just the, uh, ooh, what would the word be? The heritage of the Bronco, you know, then uh, let me know down in the comments. The next thing, that I've kind of run into is uh, the Jeep wave. And here's the take on that is uh, do Jeep guys, you know, obviously most of them know this, but do Jeep guys know the difference between a Bronco and a Jeep? You know, cause I don't want to be the guy, the guy, you know, sees me, gives a wave and I don't just want to sit there and like drive by. But obviously if he gives me the wave, I'm going to wave back. But should I just wave at everybody? Or it's just, uh, it's just problems I'm running into at 21 years old. You know, I want to wave at everybody. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. What have you guys, you know, kind of run into? Have you guys run into similar situations <laughs> where you don't quite know what to do? I'm, I'm new to driving this thing around on the road. So uh, I need a little bit of feedback from you guys. So comment down below. Help a brother out. And uh, we'll, we'll hopefully get this all figured out. Maybe I'll just start waving at everybody. That's probably the easiest and nicest thing to do but anyways let's let's move on okay so continuing on with in-house news we have finally started our tech Tuesdays series we'll be highlighting a ton of stuff from basic 
to advanced stuff like installs and just different how to's, uh, just basic, you know, Bronco tech stuff. So hopefully this series will help you guys out. We're doing our best to create content that can help you guys out, that can provide value to you. So uh, a lot of it has to do with work on the pit bull, but we've got, you know, all these other Broncos in here that we'll be doing work on. A lot of you guys have been asking to see a Hydra Boost video. So we're definitely going to do our best to make that happen. Uh, but anything else that you guys have questions about or that you want to see a video tutorial on, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. But make sure you check first on the Tech Tuesday playlist to see if we've already made a video about it. So you definitely want to do that. If not, just comment down below. Hey, make a video about installing a wench. Uh, I don't know. That was the first thing that came into my mind other than changing tires, which hopefully you guys all know how to do by now. But anyways, Tech Tuesdays, make sure you guys stay tuned for that epic series that is gonna be pumping out every other Tuesday. Remember that. Last uh, but not least, if you're not following us on Instagram yet, you need to. We are only a few hundred followers away from 50,000. Now, once we hit 50,000, we will be giving away a super rare 50th anniversary golden badge that is super hard to find. I tried looking for it for a little bit, couldn't find it. Maybe some of you guys are a little bit better at searching the web, but uh, this one's free. All you gotta do is check out the post, follow all of the rules to be entered to win. We'll be picking one winner for this super rare badge. So make sure you guys get involved in that. Uh, if you don't have Instagram, just get it. You know, even if it's just for a couple days, just try to win this thing because it is an Instagram push. We'll be doing it over there, cross-pollinating our social medias, getting you guys some interaction going here, so. Speaking of giveaways, uh, we are gonna go ahead and give away another t-shirt on this Bronco Breakdown. And uh, what I would like you guys to do is comment down below, um, your Bronco's name. You know what? Matter of fact, it doesn't even have to be your Bronco's name, just your vehicle's name. Comment down below one of your vehicle's names and we will uh, we will pick a winner from that, send you guys a t-shirt. Obviously we have the Pitbull, we've got the Nightmare. Over there you can't see it, we've got Gandalf. It's just fun, it's one of the funnest things naming, naming your rig. So comment down below your vehicle's name and uh, we'll see if we can't just get you guys a t-shirt. You guys have one week to comment down below your vehicle's name and then uh, I'll go ahead and pick a winner. So uh, let's make it happen. With that said, that wraps up the Bronco news segment of the breakdown. So uh, I know it was a lot to chew on, uh, but that just means that this, this Bronco lifestyle is getting more and more exciting. So make sure you stick around. Next up, normally we would have new products, but we actually don't have any this month. COVID has, uh, has wreaked quite a havoc on us, but we have been staying crazy busy. And so, I mean, we did, we can't thank you guys enough for continuing to work on your projects, for continuing to support the business, keeping us going during this time when a lot of people are being laid off from their jobs because they can't quite keep the business rolling. You guys have kept us rolling. Uh, we, we gotta thank God because he has been supplying during this time and we gotta thank you guys because you guys have just been the backbone of this business. We couldn't do it without you. We couldn't keep our doors open during this time without you guys. So just keep working on your projects because here's the deal is the next Bronco events that are gonna be coming up, there are going to be more Broncos than there have ever been because you guys have been working on your rigs this whole time. So if you want to be a part of the biggest surge in Bronco gatherings, make sure you keep your project going because it is going to be absolutely epic. With that said, we really don't have any future Bronco news either. Uh, a lot of the events are still canceled. You know, you got super celebrations uh, going on a few months from now. So we'll keep you guys updated as those go closer. But um, I mean, that's, that's really it. This just about wraps up the video, but you guys do know what time it is. It is time to reveal the May Bronco of the month. Taking the coveted title this month is the beautiful 1971 Ford Bronco owned by Ray and Morgan Higginbotham. This absolute stunner is powered by none other than the 460 horsepower Coyote 5.0. It's sitting on a custom suspension complete with Fox bypass shocks and Eibach coilovers. 
All of this is sitting on 35 inch Toyo MTs. We aren't even going to mention the air conditioning, audio system, GPS, the, the list just goes on. This is one absolutely epic Bronco. Congrats to Ray and Morgan on owning the May Bronco of the month. And that officially wraps up the May edition of the Bronco. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you comment down below your vehicle's name so I can hopefully send you a t-shirt. Make sure you guys comment down below and help me out with all of this, uh, this Jeep confusion that I'm facing at this point in my life. Just make sure you guys stay connected. We've got Tech Tuesdays coming up. We've, uh, we've got more Bronco content coming up, so you guys definitely don't want to miss out on all of that. Now, that is it. That wraps up this video. So as always, with all of that being said, I didn't even ask you guys to subscribe because I just assumed that you already were. So if you're not, subscribe. But with all that being said, we will see you guys out there on the trail.